So as part of my test, I went from the 88D game to the 88S Pro to check how it felt and instantly I thought the 88S Pro was stiffer and has better feel of the shuttle, crucially head heavier as well. And now I'm looking at this racket matrix and I don't agree with it. Let me tell you why. Hi everyone, your next has actually released two more additional models of the Astrox 88D rackets. And besides the made in Japan Astrox 88D Pro, there is now the made in Taiwan Astrox 88D Tour and the 88D Gay models. And I'll give you a review of how I felt playing them. If you're still confused about why there's multiple similar looking rackets with almost identical names, pause this video and check out this little short video I made explaining the three rackets at three different price points that Yonex has actually created, including telling you how to tell them apart visually. So you all know I love the Astrox 88D Pro and the sample I tested and played with loads is the 4UG5 variant. Amazingly, the samples for the 88D Tour and game rackets were also in the same 4UG5 configurations. So in terms of pricing, each model has a significantly priced difference compared to the other around 25 and 30% difference. So they come into consideration pretty big time when you're comparing them to each other. So a quick recap of the Pro model, head heavy, solid feeling, very fast for a head heavy racket, smooth, lots of power, easy maneuverability, easy peasy. Now if we look at the 88D Tour racket, it retains the fully recessed frame profile as do the Pro model rackets. But when I was playing with it, I felt the head was significantly lighter compared to the Pro model rackets. And this is why I was pretty confused at this point. I was actually so confused that I had to spend multiple testing sessions just to verify what I felt because of how different it was feeling compared to the Pro models. So as well as making sure, well this is also to make sure it wasn't me having a bad day off. So the 88D Tour was significantly faster and also easier to play with at the same time. That actually means it felt like a headlight racket and is also less stiff compared to the Pro model. The feeling of the racket was also slightly more hollow compared to the Pro model at the same time. So to me it felt like a completely different series of racket but on the plus side of things the racket was very easy to play with. You can easily generate enough power from the back of the court as well as getting out of trouble was very easy and effective. And because of how quick the racket is, it is rapid at the front of the court. So to be honest, I was very impressed with the racket and don't actually have a single bad thing to say about it. Only if you're expecting something to feel exactly the same as the 88D Pro, but at a cheaper price point. Then, in this case, you might be disappointed because this thing doesn't play the same way or feel the same as the 88D Pro. It's faster, less hit heavy, but more forgiving and easy to play with. Now, if we go to the 88D game coming from the 88D Tour, we now have the same similarities in terms of feeling and how the racket play. The 88D game does have a slightly bigger racket head frame compared to the Tour and Pro model rackets, as well as a slightly thicker shaft. The game racket only have a half recessed frame profile compared to a fully recessed frame profile for the two higher end models. For the stats people, here is a table of the measured stats from all three rackets. In terms of play, the game racket does have an even more hollow feeling compared to the Tour racket. It is also more headlight, but just a touch compared to the Tour racket again. But the racket does play very well, very easy to play with and has a good feel. Power shots were crisp, drives were easy, shuttles had good length and good height. So easy to pull off get out of jail shots when you're in trouble too. So as part of my test, I went from the 88D game to the 88S Pro to check how it felt and instantly I thought the 88S Pro was stiffer and has better feel of the shuttle, crucially head heavier as well. So as well as gliding through the air better with more solid feel. So this then confirms why I was so confused during my testing. The thought that these were the D models, so they should be head heavier compared to an S model, but in this case, it wasn't. I genuinely felt the 88D Tour and game models have less head weight compared to a 88S Pro. But when you take the price of the Tour and Game Rackets models into consideration comparing to a Pro model, this thing performs really well for its price. So again, I'm very impressed with the production quality of the racket. So for me, the Tour and Game Rackets felt very similar with subtle differences, while the Pro Japanese made models felt significantly different to these two. So besides feeling more headlight compared to the Pro model, the Tour and Game model 
also doesn't feel as smooth as the Pro. Just feels like there's a little bit of drag compared to the Pro model, but that's me being picky. So I'm not sure if Yonex meant for the Tour Endgame model rackets to try and feel exactly the same way with the Pro models, but with slightly cheaper materials. But if you don't compare them side by side, they stand and play really well on their own. So I would really recommend you trying out the Tour Endgame rackets for yourself. So if we refer to the racket matrix that I showed you earlier at the start of the video, I would put the Tour and the Game Rackets models here and here. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. So perhaps one of the things that helped me with this test was when the sample rackets arrived, they were already strung with Yonex Xbox 63 at a nice decent tension. This really helped me with the testing process because traditionally I believe the rackets were the made in Taiwan comes factory strung with pretty rubbish string at very, very low tensions. This makes it almost unplayable and not enjoyable as well. So my advice to you guys, if you're giving these tour and game models a try, is to certainly make sure you guys restring it to a tension and string of your preference. I believe you really enjoy playing with these rackets at these competitive price points with no problem. Can you hear the ice cream truck outside? I will see you in the next one.